What's up guys, Papa Regal is back in this, and welcome back to Stormbound. So I haven't done Stormbound video in a while, but you know what, I got a notification from Twitter that said that there was a new update out, so I thought, you know what, why not, let's give it another try. So as I open up the app, you already noticed a couple of different things. For one, the campaign bar has actually been moved to the left side, and friends are on the right side. Now, that is probably the least important of the updates, but let's just check out the friend interface anyways. So, there's not a lot that's been changed. I can still see all my wonderful subscribers that I love very much. Let's see if the ad has changed. Uh, what the heck? What is that Enric thing? Oh, I think that's if you want to share it. I don't know why it looks like that, but whatever. And then you can obviously remove, but I'm never going to do that to you guys. Unless one of you is BMing me, then I will uh, not appreciate that. But, that's not the per I'll link. Uh, I'll link the Reddit page in the description. Because one of my commenters gave it to me earlier. So I'll link the updates. Also, I'm pretty sure that the actual changes are going to happen on January 31st. So, just stay tuned for that. But now, anyways, the point of this video is to show you guys my new and improved pirate deck. Which I think will become probably one of the meta decks. I'm, that's a bold prediction. But I think it might become one of the meta decks in the future. So here it is right now. So we got North Sea Dog, First Mutineer, Freebooters. Midwinter Chaos, West Wind Sailors, Cabin Girls, Gold Grubbers, Wisp Cloud, Blue Cell Raiders, Kindred's Grace, Rhymelings, and Lucky Charmers. Now, this pirate deck, the reason I think it might become a meta deck is because the updates rarely affect the pirates. I'm pretty sure I only saw like one thing about the pirates and I was like maybe changing a troop count. But, this will relatively remain unchanged and Shadowfen is going to get nerfed to the ground from what all the updates like it's gonna be terrible now borderline unusable you now winter's packed and the pirates are not going to be changed basically so this is going to be the meta deck I believe which is I know a bold prediction but I'll just show you how it works we'll base it on merit okay so loading into our first match here I think we'll probably do two depending on how quick they go the pirate deck can take out people extremely fast but, on the flip side, it can also uh, die really fast, like meaning we can lose quickly. So, it's kind of like a t toss up, but we'll see what he does. So, we start out with our first- Whoa! Look at that! That's cool. Alright, so they have a new interface, a new card select interface, which is cool. So, it's weird. I think the balance changes to the cards haven't taken effect yet, but all the new interface changes have. So, that's a little bit interesting. I'm just going to click this because I really like this. It's really smooth. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um... Now we're just going to follow up with our first... No, what are these? Westwind Sailors. Yes. I'm gonna, oh, it looks like I forgot what he spawned. Oh, yeah. That's the North Sea Dog. Wait, let me check one more time. Oh, yeah. North Sea Dog. <laughs> Look at how smooth that is. All right. So he's... I think he's using a similar deck that I am. I'm not... Okay. Now I'm actually going <laughs> to stop clicking it. Um, I think he's got a pre pretty similar deck. We're going to trade up this cloud. I, yeah. As, as I suspected, I didn't think we were going to get... Uh, the Midwinter's Chaos at that turn. Now we have it, along with Rhymelings. Also, Gold Grubbers are actually a pretty good card if you want a pirate deck. They swap out a non-pirate uh, card from your hand and pull one out from the deck. So that's pretty effective. Now, uh, we got Freebooters coming in hot. I'm going to give him a... What the? A uh, card. I'm not sure if that was like a visual glitch or whatever. So he's going to spawn his own Westwind Sailors. Now... This is a little bit troubling. Now we're just gonna swap out Midwinter's Chaos because we just swapped up, swapped out a Wisp Cloud like last turn. We're gonna start with Rhymelings. They give us three mana. Then we'll use this mana to get Cabin Girls down, and they will successfully block f those Freebooters. And then he's only got one Gifted Recruit on the field, and we have a Kindred's Grace. So I think we'll probably start out with a Kindred's Grace, maybe or North Sea Dog plus Kindred's Grace, so we can get a decent bit of attack. Now, he just spawned Cabin Girls right there to block. That's fine. We can easily adjust to this. So, I think we're going to do what I said. We're going to do North Sea Dog plus a Kindred's Grace in a row to get a little bit of a flash flood of pirates. Although, it's not too much. He can still definitely handle it. So, now we have eight troops on the field. He has eight mana to get rid of them. If he uses his mana per troop like he spawns eight troops he can technically get rid of it but it looks like that's not going to be the case so he froze a unit oh okay then we'll probably spawn a wisp cloud to kill the other guy yeah there we go okay so my prediction skills are on point 
just because I haven't recorded any Stormbound doesn't mean I haven't played it. Anyways, so I th what I think we're going to do, we're going to pull out our ace card known as Lucky Charmers. So here's what they do really fast, if you guys don't know. I'm just going to hold up here for a couple seconds. So, uh, one thing about my deck, though, is I really need to upgrade those Lucky Charmers. Right now, they are not uh, good enough to really sustain me as an ace card, because they only spawn 11. That's the same as um, Veterans of War at the same level, level 2. Except, Veterans of War costs one more, but they also don't have a special requirement to gain strength. So, that's kind of the toss-up. Now, he spawned Rhyme Licks. Um, also, some Lucky Charmers of his own so they'll probably gain six. Oh, only two okay those are not as strong as I thought he still managed to spawn a North Sea Dog so oh he did a smart idea so you see what he did there he spawned the North Sea Dog a little bit behind so he actually preserves his front line that's actually a pretty smart move so I have to give him kudos we're gonna replace our well actually blue cell raiders could be helpful here so we're gonna keep them we're gonna spawn West Wind Sailors yeah, then we're going to use our blue cell raiders right here to run interference. Make sure he doesn't keep a front line. And, okay. So, we're going to keep the wisp cloud in our hand just for rotation purposes. Because we need to get that mid Midwinter's Chaos in order to use him effectively. So, he's just going to stick around there. Which kind of means we're unable to use our gold grubbers unless we uh, swap them out. So, that's kind of a, the toss up with the gold grubbers. In that, you can't really combo them with a spell or something. Because they'll probably swap it out of your hand. But, anyways, we'll work with it. So... He's just going in with his potions and spells. His cabin girls are now going to be up to 11 strength. That is absolutely crazy. But it's nothing we, that we can't handle. We are going to spawn... We're going to spawn a free boost right here. Hope that we get mid range cast. Okay, we got Rhymelings. That is okay. Now, I'm going to spawn them over here just to push him. We're going to replace gold grubbers. What? Where is the Wind Rush's Chaos? I swear. I've cycled through more than 12 cards in this turn. Alright. Well, there it is. There it is. Okay. We can take out whatever he spawns with the Midwinter's Chaos. Or just Midwinter Chaos. Anyways. We can take out whatever he spawns. We can ha handle... <coughs> what am I choking on? Ugh, okay. We can take out whatever he handles. Pfft, where, where is my face today? I can't talk. We can take out whatever he spawns. Thank you. Thank me. <laughs> Jeez, that was awful. <laughs> Please ignore that. Alright, we're just going to go with West Wind Sailors, Midwinter's Chaos, then spawn a Wisp Cloud. Poof, they're gone. Just like that, it's magic. And we're going to end our turn. Now, we have the opportunity to do an amazing Kindred's Grace with all the pirates in our hand. And I think that's what we're going to try to do. Alright, so I think we're only going to do one, um, one round this this video because I really want to get this video out to you guys to explain all the new balance changes things like that and also uh, don't tell anybody but guess what I'm doing this to get some views for the update so if there's a clickbaity title that's because it's a clickbaity title so uh, don't get triggered please now his North Sea dog didn't gain strength which is kind of interesting because I thought he used all his cards I suppose not we're gonna replace blue cell Raiders okay that was a really nice whistle, by the way. And also, we have Lucky Charmers. So we're going to spawn some Lucky Charmers. And now, because we did that, we only have the ability to use Kindred's Grace once. Er, on these two guys. But we're still going to do it. It's a decent buff that will help restrain those, uh, no, what are they? Those Lucky Charmers that he spawned. Now, he's got four units on the field. And he has 13 mana to get rid of my nine units. In the queue waiting, we have some really inexpensive units, so that's kind of eh, because the first Muneers will get rid of a card, which I'm not that happy about. Oh, Wisp Cloud. Let's see how much damage that does. That's a little bit excessive. Okay, so we're going to be pushed all the way back. He's going to Potion of Growth up. Now, I I don't like to say it's early, but I think this is the beginning of the end, folks. Uh, we will definitely try to push back. But it's unlikely. Alright, we're going to spawn three booters here. Draw a card. Okay, Rhyme Link's good. Move them up. Now, I'm hoping for... Well, what can we do? Alright, I think we're going to stack... Well, should we, should we stack left side? Yeah, we'll stack left side. And hope that we get Midwinter's... Yes! Okay, we have Midwinter's Chaos. And also Gold Grubbers. 
So what we're gonna do, I think we're just gonna combo the Midwinter's Chaos and Wisp Cloud, and we're going to spawn the Gold Grubbers as well. And we're gonna save our Lucky Charmers for a special occasion where we really need that Ace card. So he spawned his own Lucky Charmers, so he'll probably gain six strength. Two. What? I'm confused. This guy, I don't think he's using his Lucky Charmers correctly. Anyways, that's none of my business. He spawned Freebooters and also a Potion of Growth. I think that's gonna take up all of his mana for the turn. Now, we definitely can take these guys out. It's not too big of a deal because our Wisp Cloud is like the ultimate crowd control weapon. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to spawn this. Then Wisp Cloud right here. Poof! Magic! Just gone. <laughs> gone just like that. Not just gone like that. Now, we have the opportunity here. We're going to swap out Lucky Charmers. No, that's a little bit crazy. But the reason I did that... I'm going to explain myself. The reason I did that is so he can push his front line all the way back. He hasn't got one anymore. Now, we don't have our ace card anymore, but it's still better than him having the roll-up on our squad. So, what we can do now, we can actually set up a Kindred's Grace, because we have some pirates in our hand that we can easily spawn without getting intercepted by his cards. Unless he goes and... What's he playing at? He can only get one of my dudes with a Wisp Cloud. Okay, I mean, that was kind of foolish of him. Oh, an Icicle Burst! How kind! Okay, there we go. Are these ramblings left alive? Yes, they are. They're wisp clouds. Okay, what we can do... I'm going to replace first mutineer. Okay, this was interesting. Now, I'm glad I didn't replace the blue cell raiders. Because those guys could help. Now, what I think we're going to do is... Well, actually, this is kind of tough. Because I could decide to do Kinder's Grace... And then spawn North Sea Dog to get him the buff. Or I could use North Sea Dog and get him the Kindred Scrape buff. But we gotta move fast. So what we are actually going to end up doing. Spawn these uh, Rhymelings out here. And we're going to spawn some Blue Sail Raiders. Right here. Yes, they are called Blue Sail Raiders. Then we're going to use... Alright, we're going to buff up the Rhymelings. Come on, don't run out of time. Don't run out of time. No, no, the animation is so long. Oh, we lost our time. That sucks. Okay. At least we managed to get our, uh, most of our cards off. I wish we could have gotten those last pirates off, though. That would have been really helpful, I think. But it's uh, too late for that now. It's free booter, so he's used two cards. He's got five in his hand, so he has three left. That's two left. One left. Probably Westman Sailors, I'm guessing. Yes, called it. Okay. Um... Yeah, this is... Well, we have our crowd control weapon again, so this is fine. We can handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Crowd control, baby! And... Boom! <laughs> it's so good! I absolutely love that card. In case you guys didn't know. Uh, now we're gonna spawn Dog back here. We're gonna stack left side. Give him some pressure. Now he's got 17 mana to use. This is a tough cookie. He is rank 20, so he's kind of fighting for his life here. He doesn't want to lose that extra rank, I don't think. Midwinter's Cast plus Wisp Cloud equals not that effective because the Wisp Cloud is on the bottom line. What? Maybe he'll combo later? Only plus two strength again. His Lucky Charmers... Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, for a second there, I thought he just wasted a Midwinter's Chaos. That would have been crazy, dude. Okay. Um... Now, what I'm going to hope for, we're going to replace First Mutineer. We need all of our cards in our hand. We're going to spawn Freebooters on this side. Lucky Charmers. Nice. Okay, we're going to take out his Lucky Charmers in an amazing display of power. Oh, I know. Those are his Lucky Charmers. Never mind. Then we're going to spawn the Westwind Sailors. And we are going to spawn Gold Grubbers. Now, the reason I did that is because I doubt we are going to get our Wisp Cloud again in any time being. So, that's why I did that. Also, we can push him way easier this way. Now, we do need to take out those uh, Lucky Charmers. They're giving him a front line, which I'm not happy about. I think if we manage to survive this round... Uh, hang on. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. Okay, Rhymeling. So, we still have our, that pirate still alive. He's still a rebound point. He's used uh, almost all of his cards. I think he has two left in his hand. Maybe even one. Yes! Okay, this is good. This is actually really good. 
So we can definitely make a giant Kindred's Grace combo right here, and I'm going to be so happy about that. So, yeah, this might actually end him. Uh, obviously not immediately because we don't have like a three, a three space movement unit, but we can definitely stress him out a lot. Okay, so the enemy turn. He has nothing left to do, so I don't know what he's waiting for. Now, we're going to replace the Rhymelings because we have enough mana to do whatever we want. We're just going to replace them, yes, in the hope that we get more pirates. Now, we did get more pirates, so what we're going to do now is literally just spawn pirates. Pirates, 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 pirates. Okay, so now we have this, and then we're going to just Kindred's Grace all these pirates. And that should be a huge stressor for him. Because he does have those pirates down at our end, which I am worried about, don't get me wrong. But, the advantage for us is that there's no way he can get rid of all these guys up here at the top. There's absolutely no way. Oh, Lucky Charmers, we're getting like 5 strength or something. 4, okay. And Westman Sailors, okay, he's definitely pushing. Now, the one issue... Wait, can we even counter? Can we counter? 6 plus 8, yeah! <gasps> no! Oh, crap, this is not good for us. He may have just played me, like, royally. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to spawn Freebooters. <laughs> Get countered, dude. My own win Midwinter's Chaos is going to counter you so hard. Look at that. Explosions. You're not so tough now, are you, bud? Now that you've gotten destroyed, we're going to replace First Mutineer. He's not that helpful anymore. There. There we go. You. All right. Eric Alon. Oh, Eric Alonzo. That's your name. You are almost got me that was really well played on your part and I don't think I would have beaten you if I didn't get lucky with that draw so uh, that's a really good game although if you do manage to fight this off then I will be really mad at you <laughs> alright I'm gonna shake his hand just cuz that's common courtesy at this point he's a really good player and I'm glad to have fought him also I'm glad to get this on recording we've gone on for a long time we had 20 mana all right, I think he's gonna go down with his ship here. Oh, he's stressing out. He told me. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna hurt him a lot. Now all that we have to do is make sure that we don't die on this last turn. Lucky Charmers, he should finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can spawn. Well, the four will be. Ten. Yeah, okay. We have. We'll have a perfect amount. So we're just gonna go here. Go here. And the stress will continue. <laughs> oh, this is why I think this deck is going to go towards the meta in the very near future. Now, if he manages to defend this, I will actually be shocked. Like, I will... I will be... Wisp Cloud plus Icicle Burst can only take out so many, my friend. We'll see. Rhymelings. I know he's got a Wisp Cloud in there somewhere, or otherwise he's just stalling, which is perfectly okay as well. Oh, Ice Cold Burst? Okay. I think he's figured that the only way he can win this is by pushing me, like 100% of the time. But we're going to replace Rhymelings again, because we don't need them anymore. We're done with them. Uh, we're just going to spawn that up there. Gold Grubbers. Okay. Uh, we are not going to use Midwinter's Chaos, that would be kind of stupid. Well, okay, 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 what we got to do, we got to spawn the first Mutineer. Oh, oh geez. This is not good for me. I am about to take some damage, and I do not like damage. We're going to take three damage. We're just going to give him some hope <laughs> that he can win this. But, I swear, if he has another Midwinter's Chaos in his hand, I will actually just go... Because that is that is ridiculous. If he has another one, that is actually going to be completely insane. Like, I... What? Like, that would be crazy. Alright, Lucky Charmers. He's going to push us. Play the free... I swear, if he gets another Midwinter's Charge Chaos, I'm so done. Please don't. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, he gave me a thumbs up. Alright, I'll give him one back. I do love a good game. Yeah, so as North Sea Dog gains strength, that means he's out of cards. And for the finishing move, the pirates will go in. Look at all those pirates swinging their swords like madmen. 
Mad women, I guess. I think they're I think they're a female. That's not important. We gained a star at rank 21. And we got another game. So that's gonna wrap it up. I'll give bring you a video on some of the card balance changes because I know they weren't active in this video. But don't forget to leave a like. It would be cool if you would comment. It'd be super if you'd subscribe. See you guys next time.